Welcome back everybody to some more Southampton and today we are here for the games against Aston Villa and Manchester City. So yesterday we picked up four points, beat, beat Chelsea and drew to Brighton. If those were the other way around we'd have looked at it as if it was being okay but they weren't. So arguably we did drop points because after we won that game against Chelsea we really should have been going out against Brighton to win. And I think one of the main reasons we aren't sort of winning games is we have a couple of underperforming players. And one of those, as you can see, has already been dropped. It's Manolo Gabbiadini. Um, basically, one goal and one assist in 11 games just isn't good enough. And you could argue El Sharawi on the other side has been equally as bad, if not worse. But I just feel like I expect more out of Gabbiadini, especially after the season he had last year. So I sort of want to drop him now and hope that he sort of just finds his form when we re-bring re him back into the side. For now, Matt Ritchie more than good enough to play on that right-hand side, so we are going to go into this game with Aston Villa. That is the only change. Davy Clarsen's still out injured, otherwise he would be finding his way onto the bench today. But this is their team. Um, obviously, they're a newly promoted side. A few good players in there. Connor Horahan, especially, a player I'm quite fond of. I uh, used to have a friend who was a Barnsley fan, so yeah, quite familiar with him. Um, obviously, John Terry at centre-half. Says everything, really. Raphael, Napoli keeper. Um, few good players. Jack Grealish. Let's just get into the game. Let's, these are bottom of the league. They're newly promoted. I'm expecting you to win. They didn't care. Let's just hopefully pick up three points. We're just really not playing well at the minute. And I we need to find some form. And if that means dropping a couple of big players, then I'm willing to do that. But we do have a highlight early into the game. As Ward-Prowse finds Bertrand, he puts in a cross. Patania nods it towards the goal, but it's saved by Raphael. We do win a quarter though, so potential still here for us to get something as Tadic whips it in. Headed clear though. And I'm assuming that's going to be the end of the highlight. It is. Not bad though to get a couple of chances that early on. Certainly a decent start. Okay, so we have a goal kick 16 minutes into the game. It's pumped up the pitch, but they seem to win it. And they are now coming forward with the ball, which is not ideal. They play it to Jack Grealish, who hits the bar, cleared just about by Ryan Bertrand, barely wins the ball. But another highlight straight following it. Hedek clears it up the pitch towards Batania. Maybe this time it will be in our favour as it's played out wide to Matt Ritchie. Can he bolt a ball in? He can. Batania with the header over the bar. It's decent. We're, we got something. But also they came a lot closer to scoring than we did. We need to put these shots in the back of the net is the issue. So yeah, it's kind of half time. Um, after that last highlight, nothing happened. We just sort of flew straight here. And... I mean, that explains it all, really. We're, we're doing well, we just aren't scoring goals. So I'm going to go aggressive and I'm going to say I'm not happy at all with the performance because we should be winning this game and the fact that we aren't is worrying. Stefan Algerari looks nervous, he's on a 6.5, he's going to come off the pitch. I'm going to bring on Scott Sinclair at the half and hopefully try and create something a little bit earlier. I'd like to bring him on quite late, but... El Shirawi's just not doing enough for me right now. So we're going to take him off and we're going to try and change things up a bit earlier. We do have a highlight though. Arthur on this right flank flicks it across and Scott Sinclair, well, he's put the ball in the net. He's, we've brought him on at the half and he's done exactly what we needed. He's put that ball back into the net. How have we dropped down to 19th? We've scored. We've taken the lead in the game. What? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, there we go. We're up to 14th. That's a lot better. I was going to say, how did we drop down? We've just we've just gone up, surely. But another highlight straight away. Good to get a goal there. Good for Scott Sinclair to bag one as well. We're working it quite nicely here as well, though. Tadic on the ball. Plays it over. Matt Ritchie. Can he get a ball into the box? Nobody finds off a smart pass there. Intelligent. Tanya is tackled, but Ward-Prowse to Sinclair. Oh, the cross ball to Ritchie to Dusan Tadic. And... Uh, God to be said, these two wingers, the, the rotation option wingers, the substitute backup wingers are playing very, very well. They both had massive involvement in this goal. Um, that ball there from Sinclair to switch it over to Richie was incredible. Nodded down to Dusan Tadic and yeah, finds the back of the net. Um, lovely, 2-0. Have we had a 2-0 so far this season? I don't know, but this is nice. We've got another highlight. Ah, oh, love it. I love when we have highlights when we're winning. When we're doing well. So yeah, Arthur nods it down. And Tadic wins the ball. Patania plays through Matt Ritchie. Goes for goal and he scores! <laughs> Matt Ritchie bags himself a goal. 
Oh, we're loving life. Absolutely loving life. We are 3-0 up. And, I mean, I didn't think that was going to go in. I thought I was going to hit the side netting. I'm not going to lie. But Tadic wins the ball, points it to Patania, who finds Richie. He just takes the shot very early into the run and places it perfectly near post of the keeper. We're 3-0 up. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, so 80 minutes in, and as you can see, Arthur's looking a bit worse for wear, so we are going to make a change. We're going to bring on Hoiberg. He's been complaining about game time, Hoiberg, which doesn't make me overly happy. I thought I got rid of all the game time complainers. But, yeah, Hoiberg wants more play. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to get it, I'm going to be honest. I quite like James Ward-Prowse, but that is going to take us to full-time. And, yeah, it's a 3-0 win. Three different goal scorers, Sinclair, Tadic, and Richie. That might be their first goal of the season for all of them. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I think it is. So, who got man of the match? Matt Ritchie. I mean, if he keeps playing like that, he might manage to cement a place in the team. I'm not going to lie. So, that is going to leave us in 14th position then. We'll see us rise up the league table quite drastically. And, I mean, I don't know if you can ever really be set up nicely for a game against Man City. But if you could, it would be that that does it. And if we just check on the tactics screen real quick, yeah, you'll see that's Matt Ritchie, Dusantic, and Scott Sinclair's first goal of the season. It's hard to argue that that was a big improvement. So, there's temptations here to keep that the same, and going into that next game, it's something I think I'll think about over this little international break. So, I will catch you back for the game against Man City. See you there. So we are here for the game against Manchester City. Nothing too drastic happened over the international break, so we're good to go straight into this one. Uh, the only thing I've noticed, Davy Clarkson has fully recovered, so he is back on the bench today. And also, I've put Scott Sinclair into the starting lineup after his performance last game in the second half, where he just simply had so much of an impact. It would seem almost unfair not to play him. So yeah, he's going to get a run out today and hopefully he can prove that he deserves to keep playing here along with Matt Ritchie who impressed greatly last game. And yeah, you can actually see his star ratings also gone up to three and a half stars. So if that's something you put weight to, then there you go. It's gone up. Uh, Patanias has gone down. Not a fan of that. But let's get into this game. And yeah, Scott Sinclair is lacking a bit of match sharpness. Hasn't had too many stars or even that many appearances. Oh, there he is. There's Wilfred Zaha. The player they stole from me. The player that Stefan El Shirar, we should have been. Still so annoyed about that. Literally, we had him pen to paper. And they, they stole him. A uh, few notable absences from them. Notably, obviously, Aguero. Also, David Silva doesn't seem to be there with Bernardo on the bench. But nothing, nothing too drastic. Company also on the bench today. And Sane as well. So let's just get into the game. Actually, Rafael Varane is on the bench for them. That's notable. They they have benched one of the best centre-backs in the world football. For Otamendi and Laporte. Fair play. We're underdogs. That suits us down to the ground. Let's go and cause an upset. I don't know why I've said that. We've not been bad underdogs, to be fair. We beat Liverpool twice last season. We beat Arsenal. Got a point against Chelsea. We beat Chelsea this season. We're, we're decent underdogs, aren't we? We're not terrible. Hopefully, we can prove that again today. They come forward here, then Sterling on his left-hand side looks to cut inside and plays in Dendonka, knocks it back to Jesus. Can we win it back? They're working it nicely. It's a good shot from Sterling that hits the bar. Good shot from Danilo as well, actually. Saved by Timo Horn, out for a corner, and the pressure very early into this game is on as De Bruyne looks to take the corner, headed by Jesus, just wide, heading not his best attribute, and looks like we might be able to keep going. What was that sentence? Looks like we might be able to keep going. Of course we will. It's nil-nil. We can still play. Even if they scored, we can still play football. It's not going to ban us from the game. Another corner for them. De Bruyne puts it in. Headed clear by Delete, but we can't reclaim the second ball. And they're working it nicely here. Zaha in space. Knocks it to Sterling. And that is 1-0 to Manchester City. 23 minutes in, comes off of the back of a set piece. But the most annoying part is Wilfred Zaha getting the assist and looking quite good. Um, yeah, not, not ideal. Um, again, it's not a major, it's nothing major, like, it's Man City, we were going to struggle, they're a very strong Man City as well, but, uh, I'd like to have kept that hope alive, like we did against Chelsea, and maybe snatched something late. Still though, we're only one goal, only one goal down, it's not, it's not dreadful at all, let's see if we can pull it back. 
Half time is here then, and it is still 1 0. Not too much being shown in this game, it has to be said. In terms of highlights, there's not, a, not, there's not much. I can't speak today. But as you can see from the stats, we are getting pretty much dominated here. So let's go in and let's say a much better showing. I don't. I don't want to say that they're playing poorly because I feel that would just like destroy their confidence, but I do expect us to play better than we are, you know, and at least create something. As we do get a free kick. Ah, oh, my throat is killing. Um, we'd lose out immediately from it though. Sterling here pushes forward, gives it to Gabriel Jesus, plays in Wilfred Zahar. Ah, that was always going to happen. That was always going to happen. Wilfred Zaha puts them 2-0 up. I don't want to see it again, I'm not going to lie. I really don't want to see it again. And they have a corner. De Bruyne gives it to Sterling. And the shot is good. We save it. It goes out for another corner. And I'm going to make a quick change. Matt Ritchie's having a poor game. I'm going to bring on Gabby Adini. And they put the ball in for corner number two. Maybe we can win it? No, Sterling claims the second ball. We do clear, though. And that's going to be the end of the highlight as Manolo Gabbiadini enters the field. And immediately there is a highlight for us. Trippier to James Ward-Prowse. Oh, great back heel to Scott Sinclair to Dusan Tadic. Oh, he's hit the post. I thought it was in. I thought Dusan Tadic was going to score again. But no, he hits the post. And as you can see, there is another highlight with them in possession. That was a great chance to pull one back into the game. And we worked it very well, to be fair. Just couldn't quite get the last touch to be good enough. And now they look to come forward. Well, actually, no, they don't. They're playing it backwards. But now they look to come forward. No, they've played it backwards again. Now they look to come forward. There we go. Raheem Sterling on the left wing puts in the cross. And Gabriel Jesus finds a lot of space there. Headed saved by Timo Horn, though. And hopefully we can grab at least something from this game. I'd like us to at least get a goal. as We have a goal kick. It's, it's a little bit like a goal, but not really. It has a similar word, or the same word. But, we managed to put in a challenge and win the ball back. Ryan Bertrand, under pressure, clears to Scott Sinclair. Plays it to Catania. We're keeping possession quite nicely here. Under a lot of pressure. Under quite a high press, actually. They really are actually piling onto us. We don't have much time or space at all, and we're doing quite nicely. We've got a bit of a triangle going. As it goes back to Horn and is pumped up the pitch. But... It looks like it might be in their favour as we give it to Jesus and Zaha gets another assist. He's been involved in every goal. This is just rubbing it in. Um, I'm going to bring on Al Sharab with Scott Sinclair. He's not had a bad game, but I just think, you know, fresh legs late into the game could be a bit of a difference maker. As we put in a cross, or a corner, sorry, and Wesley head there, out of nowhere, bags a goal for us. Ford Prowse with a wonderful corner on that near post, and Hedet does... This is a great header. I don't know why I like that so much. It just looked really... The ball went very whooshy. Like, it was a big arc. And now, we have a throw-in late into the game. 15 minutes to play. Can we find another goal and potentially mount a very late comeback? As Gabby Adini on this right-hand side, is going to put in a cross. We don't win the ball, but Trippier plays in Patania. He finds the back of the net, and the comeback is on. Trippier assists Patania here, getting his fifth goal of the season, I believe. And you can't help but feel we may be pulling something very late out of the bag. Gabbiadini's cross isn't the best, but Trippier picks up the second ball very nicely. And it's a great strike from Patania, actually. He takes it on the turn very nicely. And just a little bit of hope in this game yet. Four minutes left to play then, and I'm going to pause. And I want to do something. They've really shut up shop. And I'm going to go attack. Attack. And I don't know if there's a change that's really going to help. You know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Why not? Let's go mental. Let's go a bit mad. Ah, loving it. And then we'll bring Arthur into here. And you can go attacking too. We'll have six attacking players on the pitch. Go. If we were ever going to get a goal, it would be right now. Oh, they have a corner. That's not going to help, is it? And we've got a load of players up, though. We have claimed the... Oh, why was that a highlight? They've got another corner. Can we win this one? Oh, oh, maybe? No, this is attack. Um, yeah, those six attacking players aren't doing much attacking. But with a couple of minutes left, we are in possession. Delete to El Sharawi. Can we mount a very late attack? No, because El Sharawi gave the ball away. And that's why we were playing Scott Sinclair. 
Um, Zahari are on the left wing on the ball, and Delete manages to put in a tackle, but Bernardo still claims. Gabriel Jesus takes the shot, it's put out for a goal kick, and Timo Horn's going to lump it up the pitch with 30 seconds left to play. Oh, it's their free kick. Catrone put in a foul. I thought we might have had a chance to run onto that there, but it looks like this is going to be the end of the game as Wilfred Zahar on the left wing plays through Bernardo, and you can't help but feel there's not going to be any late comebacks coming. They have a corner then, and, well, that's going to be full time, yeah. Imagine if they lose on one goal difference now and the ref just blew his whistle on a corner. How annoyed would you be? Like, hmm. But that was a very nice second half comeback. It was it was a pleasing... Well, I thought it was a pleasing performance. We had a late comeback against Man City. Like, I don't know. I thought we did all right. We didn't embarrass ourselves, did we? I don't think we did. I'm happy with it. I, I don't care. They keep raising Tadic fitness concerns, by the way. This has started happening after every single game, but by the next game, he's always fine. Like, he gets this little rest icon here, but then by the next game, it's gone. So I'm just kind of ignoring it. It just keeps happening. But anyway, yeah, we picked up three points today. A convincing win over Aston Villa and then a not embarrassing loss to Man City. It's, it's not awful, is it? Like, you know, almost the reverse of what yesterday was, really. Like, if you just said... Which basically means the results went as planned. I've just realised what I've said. Yeah, the results just sort of came as intended. But if you, you know, if you said you're going to put up a competitive game against Man City, yeah, sure. And when you look at the next two fixtures as well, Swansea City followed by Wolves, and then we have Liverpool. But then we have this run, which I mentioned earlier in the season, of Ipswich, West Brom, West Ham, Leicester, Newcastle, which is a lot of winnable games. We could turn the season around yet, but it has to start tomorrow. So if you want to be here when that video goes live, it goes up at 5.30, or if you want it in your feed, you can hit the subscribe button. If you have any feedback, please leave it in the comments below. It would be very much appreciated. And yeah, I will catch you all tomorrow. Have a great night. Goodbye.